Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. A little bit of a weird video because one, wearing my glasses and a blazer, ultra professional, sorry. Two, I'm sitting in my car. I am sitting in my car during my lunch break um, for my full-time job. And sorry I keep going in and out of focus. It's because I keep looking away from the camera and my camera is wondering where my face went but anyways I just kind of felt like during my lunch break taking a moment to come out here and give you a little bit of an update on what's going on in my life the reason I'm making this video is because you know I feel like people that know me know that I like change and know that I make a lot of changes in my life all the time however the last six months have literally been insane and there's been so many changes I feel like you guys have probably noticed a few of them and I just really want to sit down and let you guys in on my life and what the hell I'm doing okay just start with like a little background really quick for those of you that don't know I live in Sarasota Florida I've lived here for a little over a year with my husband Jake we moved from Oklahoma and we were born and raised there so that in and of itself was a big change that kind of kick-started all of this. Um, you know, we got married and we just on a whim decided to move here and we love it. It's literally the best decision we've ever made. It's freaking amazing here and I'm, it's like I'm in paradise. Oh my God, am I having like a heat rash? Good Jesus. Excuse my skin, I don't, you know. Anyways that kind of big change has really inspired me to make a lot of other big changes in my life and within the last six months I have done a crazy amount of shit and so has Jake. Jake has made a big move in his life as well so that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with Jake because I'm so proud of him and I can't say enough how wonderful he is and how hard he works so if you don't know much about Jake. Jake has worked in the restaurant industry for about six years. He has a bachelor's degree from Oklahoma State University, but he didn't really, he kind of just got started in restaurants because the pay was good and it was the best, you know, route he could go at the time that he was finished with college and everything. But he didn't like it. He's unfortunately had to work with a lot of crappy people in the restaurant industry. I can relate because I did the same. And the restaurant industry is really tough. It's extremely taxing on your body and on your mental sanity. When we moved here, he quickly got a job, paid so well at Chili's Grill and Bar. But, but within the last six months, he was able to quit working there and started taking real estate classes. We both think that's something he'll be great at and he is such a hard worker and so self-motivated that he'll definitely be able to, you know, be successful in that kind of career. Long story short there, he quit working at Chili's and made an entire career change. He did a ton of studying on his own, classwork on his own, and passed the school real estate exam and the state real estate exam, I believe on July 3rd is when he took that exam. And um, he just, within the last couple of weeks, started working for Keller Williams, which was the exact company that he wanted to go work for when he started out in this real estate adventure. So I could not be more excited for him. I'm so proud. If you haven't already, go follow all of Jake's real estate social media. I'll link them down below. Definitely needs all the support he can get. He's still getting started. He's still got some training to do at Keller Williams. It's going to take a little while to get going there. And now onto some of the things going on with me. My full-time job, some of you already know, I work for a healthcare franchise and my title is marketing and communications specialist and basically I do both digital marketing and traditional print marketing so blogging, direct mail writing, invitation writing, uh, website copy sometimes um, and then a ton of email campaigns and social media strategies and ads and everything else that comes along with that type of stuff to put it pretty simply it's great I work with some cool people I get to do what I've always wanted to do for a company however it's not exactly what I'm passionate about 
although I do love the marketing aspect of things, um, healthcare is not necessarily a passion of mine. So being that for some reason I'm incapable of just doing one thing and being happy with that and you know taking some time to rest I am packing my time full with a lot of other endeavors to start obviously I started out this YouTube channel because of my passion for makeup and I did that around uh, maybe April or May I think was when I started doing that started doing makeup on YouTube and then with the occasional vlog travel vlog and such so that's been really fun I don't have just a ton of growth or progress happening with this channel but I do have time to put together a decent video once a week and share it with my friends and family and anyone else that may be interested and it, that's been great for me that's been really fun my mom enjoys it so if nothing else she and I are having a good time and the other thing that I really wanted to tell everybody about and the most exciting thing for me is that in the last six months or six or seven months I have started modeling and this was something that I have wanted to do since I was probably about 17 or 18 years old and I have always been the biggest chicken about it I have always wanted to do it but I could never just jump in and give it a shot because obviously I am a plus size girl or a full figure girl whatever you want to call me and I wasn't okay with that until probably the last year or two I have always struggled with my weight I have a predisposition for um, weight issues based on my genes and you know health problems within my family and those are things that I will have to battle with my entire life um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not healthy and that's something that I've I've just my mental and physical health has evolved so much in the last couple of years um, a lot of people saw my weight fluctuate quite a bit in the last couple of years right now I'm at a high in my weight but I'm okay with that because I know how healthy I am I eat really healthy all the time and I work out at 530 in the morning five days a week and I take really really good care of my body and it is what it is I you know I have hypothyroidism and I'm not gonna go into all of that if any I know that's really common out there and if there's anybody out there that wants me to talk a little bit more about my situation there maybe we can talk about that anybody out there that may be experiencing similar issues anyways that my you know sort of mental block with loving myself and being okay with who I am and how I look prevented me from being able to do this for a really long time there's no reason that I can't be happy in my own skin and I am I'm I'm the most confident I've ever been in my life and sure I'm still struggling with you know the way I look in the mirror sometimes and you know there's things that I want to improve upon but I love myself so much and I love taking pictures and I love creating art in multiple different ways and modeling is one of them of course I love fashion and beauty and makeup and hair and all of that as well so it all kind of goes together into this one love for beauty and god I'm rambling like a motherfucker does this make any sense back to the beginning I started modeling basically what I did was I started finding local photographers in the area that are fairly new at photography but are really good at it and I started reaching out to them and saying hey if you will work with me you can use the pictures however you want to promote your photography business and I can use the pictures however I want to build a portfolio to my surprise pretty much every photographer that I reached out to was interested and was more than willing to help me out I've met the coolest freaking people I basically just practiced for several months practiced with photographers practiced on my own studied a little bit online about what I should be doing and at first I kept telling myself oh, I'll just try it out and see how it goes I probably won't ever go to an agency the stars have aligned in some ways and I have managed to work with a really awesome local brand 
their startup up in uh, Clearwater, St. Pete, Tampa area. And then the biggest thing, which just happened recently, you know, an agent that I had been kind of chit chatting with was able to get me a job working for Bell's stores. And if you don't know what Bell's is, it's kind of local to Florida, but there's 500 locations. It's kind of like your JCPenney's or Ross or TJ Maxx. Um, but like the Florida version. They've been around for a long time. They're a huge company here and they have a sister company in Texas as well. So some people may know of Bell's in Texas. I was able to book an all day shoot with them and it paid really, really well. And there was opportunity for me to continue working with them in the future. And they also told me that, I, and the agent also told me that I might get a go see with HSN, Home Shopping Network. Then here more recently, I've been working with another agency and they got me a job with a different division of Bell's and it's called Bell's Outlet and doing a half day shoot with them that also pays very, very well. And they kind of want it to be an ongoing relationship. So basically, I have signed with two agencies located out of Tampa and I'm actually getting legitimate commercial modeling shoots. No, it is just part-time. I don't plan on leaving my full-time job at all. I, I, like I said, I love what I'm doing for my full-time job and that job is paying the bills for sure, barely. Just really is a sign that I'm doing the right things and I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that I need to keep following what I'm passionate about because there's no better feeling in than being able to have a job doing exactly what I love to do. And I wanna to add too that I'm truly finding my place in my career and I'm truly figuring out what I wanna do and where I wanna be five years from now and 10 years from now. And I'm really enhancing a lot of different skill sets. For example, my full-time job, I have learned so much more than I could have imagined within a year about digital marketing and communications in general. And I've been able to learn more about video editing and, and campaigns and writing and editing and improving upon my social media skills so much. I can't tell you how many social media accounts I run. I run, I manage so much social media, it's absurd. I've learned so much about, you know, growing social media following and engagement and producing quality content. And then with the videos that I do, obviously I'm learning about editing and producing and promotion of those videos. All of it, it just really feeds my creative nature. I sought out the opportunity to be creative on my own and feed my creative side in a way that makes me happy and gives me joy every day and I've been able to do so. And I can't even express how lucky I am. I just have to say thank you so much for supporting me and caring about what I'm doing. I'm halfway across the country from 90% of my friends and family. It means so much to me that you guys care and love what I'm doing. And ultimately, you know, the whole point of making this video is to of course let you guys in on my life and what I'm doing. Just give you a little update. I know that, you know, there's a lot of people I don't talk to that often. So you may be like, the heck is this girl doing? Overall, everything is literally amazing. I mean, we broke. Don't get me wrong. If somebody wants to start a GoFundMe, that would be great. I have a lot of goals and a lot of things that I look forward to doing in the next few months, next year, next 10 years, etc. I'll try to keep you guys updated as things change and as things improve. And, you know, if you want to know more about what's going on with Jake and, you know, how I've been able to help him along his journey as well, definitely let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments or feel free to reach out to me personally. I'm always happy to share more information and um, I'd also love to know if you guys enjoyed a little sit down video like this. I think about sitting down in front of the camera and talking about things a lot and you know sometimes I just decide not to for my own reasons but if that's something that you guys want to see let me know because I'm here to please. But anyways, I will go ahead and call it a day on this video.
Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here again. And I love you and I'll see you later. Bye.